This short video is aimed at new operators receiving a vending machine for the first time. We will be showcasing a Nectar vending machine, in particular the Nectar Tango. After you have unpacked your machine and have it in position, you will notice the key has been taped to the coin return. Turn clockwise and use the handle to pull towards you. Here you can see inside the machine, you can see the control board. This is where the coin mechanism is. Then you also have the note reader, a card reader, and also the telemetry device for the card reader inside. The machine will come with some items in the coin return box. So here you'll have some extra labels, installation manual, and also the yellow power key so you can power up the machine with the door open. To power the machine up you use this key and the key is put into the socket, pushed in and twisted to lock into place. This will then power up the machine. Once you have powered up the machine you can use the control board to enter service mode. There are some instructions that we've produced in a quick guide form to navigate you through the service mode quickly and easily. So to enter service mode, you can do this in two ways. There's a switch here. You'll hear a beep when you enter service mode. And you can also press it again to come out of service mode. Also, there's a small switch on the control board, which you can press to enter service mode you know you've entered service mode because you can hear a beep and also the front screen of the machine changes. Now that we've entered service mode, you're presented with the fill menu. There are two menus to access, which is fill and tech. You can switch between the two by pressing the C button on the keypad. The fill menu is filled with some basic features and functions and the tech menu is mainly for technicians. So mainly you'll be using the fill menu. You can change price inside the machine. You'll go through each lane changing the price. This is also covered in the quick guide. You can also perform tests on lanes. And one of the first things you'll do when you receive a new machine is enter tube control, fill in tube, and then you can start filling the coin mechanism. So you'll put the coins into the slot and then you can fill your coin mech up for the first time to ensure it has change for your customers. Once you have finished in service mode, you can exit out. You can press C to go back to the fill or the tech menu and then simply press one of the two switches I showed earlier. This will then return the machine into Ven mode. It is now time to fill your vending machine. So to do this, we open the front door. And then to remove trays, you can simply just pull them towards you and they will just rest inside the machine safely. You can then fill with your product per spiral ring. One thing to note is to check that the end position of the spirals are in the right place. If they're not, these can simply be twisted by pulling towards you and then twisting clockwise or anti-clockwise to your desired position and releasing the spiral when you have it in position. Do not force the spiral around. Make sure you pull the spiral towards you and twist. You can then put the tray back in position, which you'll finish filling, and move on to the next. If you change any prices, don't forget to adjust the price label. You can do this with your thumb or you can use an eraser and it's much quicker and easier. Once you have finished filling your vending machine, shut the glass door, 
try to do this as quickly as possible to ensure you retain the cold temperature inside the machine. If you have a credit card system on the machine, then you can follow the instructions to do a restock. With Wingcave, there's a button labeled restock. You can press that to send the, the fill data to the system, or if you have NIAX, this is done through the NIAX device. Okay, so we've just dialed the machine through and updated the system to notify that we have done a restock. Before you shut the door, don't get too carried away. Don't forget to remove the yellow key or you will damage the machine. So simply twist the key until it releases and remove. And then following the instructions from at the start of the video, turn the key, shut the door, turn the key again, and then remove. The machine will then power back up and you can wait for it to come back online. So keep an eye on the display. Once it returns into Venn mode and your payment systems light up and say they're ready, then you know your machine is ready for customers to use. The screen of the machine now says select product. So the machine is ready to use. You can see the note reader bezel is flashing green, inviting customers in to insert their money. And also the credit card system is indicating press button to start transaction. I hope as a new operator you find this video interesting and useful. Please reach out to the Venn shop anytime for any of your vending needs.